Howdy YouTube, today we're taking a look at the DC Collectibles Arrow Deadshot figure. One of the latest releases from DC Collectibles from the TV show Arrow, a show that I've really been getting into lately, um, whether it be because it reminds me of Batman or uh, just because it's uh, a really well-written show, at least uh, where, I've up to, uh, where I'm up to so far. Uh, I was very excited to get this guy uh, and all the other figures that they've released from uh, the Arrow TV show. This guy um, in particular, I uh, originally wasn't going to pick up, and then after watching a bit of the uh, a bit of the series and uh, seeing that um, he wasn't just a secondary character, he appears in quite a few episodes, um, especially in uh, season one and then more so in season two. Uh, I went back and, and grabbed this guy. Lots of nice detail. He comes with some great accessories. He is in the new modern style DC packaging, which is really cool. Not sure if you can see behind, but there's the Batman Arkham Origins. Uh, really bulky packaging there, which uh, really doesn't help. And you can see I've taken out Arrow already uh, before the review's even begun. So let's get this guy opened up and hopefully give you guys a cool review. Just on the side of the packaging there, a nice shot of Deadshot uh, in figure form. Very, very cool. Taking a look at the back of the packaging, we see the other figures in the set. Obviously, Oliver Queen and Deathstroke. If you haven't seen my reviews yet, uh, make sure you check those out. Canary, Arrow, of course, Dark Archer, and Deadshot. So, pretty strong figure lineup. Very excited to get this guy opened up. Okay, and here we have Deadshot out of the packaging, and visually he is a very nice looking figure, an accurate representation of the character from the Arrow TV show, no question about that. I do have some issues with how he stands, uh, a lot of his joints are very stiff, uh, and particularly the leg joints, um, I had a really hard time getting him, uh, it took a bit of time to, to soften them up a bit and, and finally get them in the position that I wanted them to, but um, still lots of really nice detail on this guy, much like all the uh, recent DC Collectibles figures. Um, you know, even if you take a look at the Deathstroke or, or the Oliver Queen Arrow figure, and then you compare this Deadshot to, say, the Arkham Origins Deadshot at the back there, this one's definitely much more detailed. I'll bring it forward so you guys can take a look at the face. Very, very nice. Nice face sculpt. Uh, if you have seen the TV show, obviously you'll know that this is uh, not the first appearance of Deadshot. This is after he gets the cybernetic eye. Sorry for the spoiler. It's it's not that much of a spoiler, if I'm honest. But um, really great detail on the on the face there and the hair. Um, awesome job, actually. Uh, lots of nice detail. Obviously, he's got the uh, flak jacket and the ammo ammo belt, explosives, everything you need for a good night of fun. Uh, as a hired assassin, so pretty cool, really, really nice. I'm actually one of the things I'm surprised about with Arrow is that uh, the villains in there. I, I never knew that uh, Deadshot and Deathstroke were Arrow villains. I always remember um, Deathstroke from uh, Teen Titans watching that, um, but it's great that they've got so many cool villains um, in the Arrow show, which is really, really nice. In terms of accessories. And you'll see now how he's having a hard time standing. And it's really, it's this knee joint here. I'm not sure how well it'll come across on the camera, but it's very, very wonky. Uh, he does come with a sniper rifle, which is pretty cool. Not a super amount of detail in terms of paint. Uh, they have released a lot nicer looking uh, guns, but still a very, very nice accessory. And then he does come with two pistols as well so good range of accessories uh, much like all the new modern DC collectibles figures um, at least that uh, I've got they've got a spot to keep every weapon which is awesome in this case obviously he has a holster uh, for one of the guns and then two open hands where you can put the sniper rifle sniper rifle and the pistols so really really cool in terms of articulation he's got a ball jointed head he's got Ball jointed arms, no movement in the uh, the bicep or anything, but he has uh, ball jointed elbows, and then uh, I think it's a ball joint on the hand, but it's very stiff on this guy. Swivel in the waist, but he is rock hard. 
uh, at the moment, and uh, I'm a little bit worried I'm going to snap him in half, actually, if I, I move that too much. He does have the brand new leg articulation where it moves out and in, forwards and back. Uh, again, he's very, very stiff. And then double joint at the knee, but I'm not sure if you can see uh, this one is a little bit warped, so I'm going to have to go back and, and try and fix that. Uh, no swivel in the, the boot, but he does have uh, a bend forward and back, uh, and what looks like a ball joint actually uh, in the ankle, which is uh, pretty interesting. So, decent range of uh, articulation. I'm sure it's just mine that happens to be uh, a little bit shoddy, but um, still very, very nice. And just for size comparison, you can see Deadshot uh, is slightly shorter than the Oliver Queen figure and about on par with the Deathstroke uh, in the, the same scale as the Batman Arkham series figures as well. So uh, really great set. Can't recommend these Arrow figures enough. Uh, whatever the reason is, uh, I'm a big fan of the new uh, articulation style of the DC Collectibles figures. I think they've really stepped up both in the accessories, the detail, um, and uh, just the packaging, everything in general. So uh, if you're a fan of the Arrow TV show, if you're a fan of the Hired Assassin, Deadshot, absolutely, this guy is a must-have. And hopefully you've enjoyed this review.